everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I want to talk about some new features that the developers of Prism Live Studio have added to their broadcast software that I really think a lot of streamers are going to be interested in. Some of these features are game changers, in my opinion, and really add some nice professional quality features to your live stream for free. So let's get into the video. Before we get into the features of Prison Live Studio I want to talk about today, I want to talk about a, a brief overview. If you don't know about Prison Live Studio and you're new to this channel, uh, Prison Live Studio is basically a version of OBS Studio that has been made a little bit differently to make the UI easier to understand. Navar has really done a good job in making Prism Live Studio as easy as possible to set up your broadcasts and they've added a lot of nice free features including multi-streaming and other things like that that you would otherwise have to pay for. So anyway, if you're interested in that, I will provide a link down in the description below. But now let's go ahead and get into the features that they have added that makes this really special now. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about are text templates. Basically text templates are graphics that you can use for titles and lower thirds, and it is a source built into Prism Live Studio. So you'll find it here down at the bottom. It has a little prism to the side of it that tells you that this is an exclusive item. So you can add these text templates, and I've got a couple already added, but let's add a new one, and we'll just call it a uh, test title. And then here you get the properties that you can see the different titles, and they've got four different groups that you could choose from, from titles, socials, captions, and elements that you can add to your different scenes for different things. So we'll just use, I'll tell you what, we'll use this elegant title and we can bring this in and you can see what it looks like. It's a nice repeated uh, graphic that you can also customize to your liking, which is really nice. So we'll bring this up and go into detailed settings. And here is where you can get your different font changes. You can change the size. You can change the different styles that you have a full list here that you can see. Uh, you can also change the color settings for the backgrounds for the title itself. And then if you don't want motion, you can turn that off. Or if you want to repeat the motion, you can also control how slow it is or how fast it is, which is a really nice feature. And then of course you get all the effects filters that you can add to it also. So it's really nice and you can go into detail and use this for different things. And I'll show you one of the things that I've recently done as I've been doing a review for the Avermedia PW513 and I have a side-by-side -side comparison where I've added a couple different text templates to the bottom describing the different frames here, which is a really nice little feature. I love this a lot because you can really do some really cool things. And this really meets a lot of needs for people other than game streamers, like podcasters and that sort of thing. If you're featuring something or you have uh, multiple people on an interview, you can add these for names, for their social medias, and that sort of thing, which is really nice. All right, so next, let's talk about Prism's mobile webcam. All right, so what we're gonna talk about now is Prism Mobile. So Prism Mobile is an app on your mobile device. It is Apple, both iOS and Android devices. You download it for free, totally for free. No catches, it's free. And what they've done is they've allowed you to integrate it with their desktop app that you can use your mobile phone as a webcam for free, built in, no hassle. It's very simple to do. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to set up a source inside of Prism Live Studio and you'll find Prism Mobile here at the top. So what we've, I've already done is I've already added this. So I'll go ahead and add this to the scene. And what you have now is a QR code that you can then scan using the mobile app. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'll bring up the mobile app on my device here. And the first thing is you'll get is you'll get, usually it pops up with uh, your mobile device and your camera. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna slide this over to connect. Okay, and then that's going to activate the QR scanner inside the mobile app that you can then go and scan the QR code and it'll give you two options. It will give you camera or screen that you want to cast to the 
uh, to the desktop app. So what we'll do is we'll actually use the camera and then we'll connect. And then what you see is you see my camera adjusting and I can then add it. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll add it to the top of my screen here like a webcam. And hopefully it'll hold and I will adjust it in scene. And now this is my mobile camera that you can see on my mobile phone, which happens to be a Galaxy Note 20, by the way. So uh, then you can kind of get a comparison of what the camera looks like compared to what I've already got set for my Avermedia 5 PW513, which I have filters added. That's why it looks better. And also this is 4K. Uh, the camera, I think, is slaved to 1080p. But for a mobile webcam that is free, you cannot beat this integration with Prism Live Studio. It is really nice. Again, you need to download the Prism Live Studio mobile app from Google Play or the Apple Store. Again, it's free. You set it up, you can live stream from it. Also, if you're a mobile vlogger or something like that, that you really want to integrate this, you could very easily. But I love this because this meets a lot of needs for a lot of people that are having a hard time finding a nice webcam that they can use on their live stream. This gives you a free option that you don't have to pay for, like Epic Cam that you have to pay for. Uh, this is integrated, built in. There's no extra downloads you have to do, any plugins that you have to add. And I love this. This is really probably the nicest feature I've seen added to any broadcast software in a long time. So one thing I do want to show you though, for setting up is that there is a couple features that you're going to want to know about for this to get it to work. So right now you can connect via Wi-Fi. So you need to have everything on the same network for this to currently work, but they are going to allow this to work through USB here coming soon. Now I'll get you, keep you updated and let you know when this comes available because once this becomes available, then I think the quality of your camera will be even better than what is currently allowed over Wi-Fi. And you may even be able to support 4K. So now let's get into the third thing that Prism Live Studio has that I really think a lot of people will really appreciate, especially multi-streamers. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the Prism Chat widget. So it's a really nice add-on to Prism Live Studio and they're also the mobile too. It goes for both of the apps. So you can add a widget to your scene that's going to integrate all of your different services, all the chats. So say if you're multi-streaming to Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, you'll get all of those all in one widget that you can then read it's really nice because it's just seamless and integrates everything together all in one thing. It's sort of like Restream IO's chat. It's that this is all built in straight into Prism Live Studio. Again, you don't have to go to an external source to do this. It's all built in and that's what I really like about it. So to get this set up, all you need to do is go to source and then here you will see Prism Chat. And we will leave that there. And what this does, and this is something else I really like about this for your setup, right? So you have all kinds of different ways you can do it, but what they do is they give you this kind of body chat thing to fill your chat up so that when you're setting this up, you can kind of give an idea of what it's going to look like in your scene as you're setting it up. And it's very simple to do. You can have your chat integrated there. Uh, you can also, like I said, you got all kinds of different styles that you can choose from that you can select from. You can choose the font size if you want to integrate it, make it bigger or smaller, which is really nice. Um, I tend to prefer just the style one default that comes up and it works really great. Now, once you go live, then these little uh, bot type chats will go away and then your live chat will begin. So you will not have all this happening while you're live. This is just simply to help you set up your chat into your scene so that you'll know that it's set up properly with some of these fake chats. And it's really nice. It's a nice feature. I really like this a lot. And again, this will integrate with all of your different services that you live stream from that provide API support to Prism Live Studio. And that's Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and some of the other sources that Navar supports over in Asia. But for the US and for Europe, mainly the big three is what we're talking about here. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things I would like to see maybe updated or worked on a little bit, especially when it comes to the text themes. 
So I'd like the intro animations to text things, but to get those, you have to have it on repeat, which you know isn't optimal if you want it to just animate and then stay still and not repeat after that. I would like to see them allow animations, but turn off the repeat function so that then you can get those nice intro slide in animations, but then you just have your title there until you want to turn it off manually, which would be nice. Another thing, I can't wait to see the USB function of the webcam. I think that would be a great option once they allow that. You could allow higher bit rates. You may be able to support 4K if your phone supports it, uh, which is a great option. One of the things I did not really talk in detail about, but it's something that you can do through the Prism Live Mobile is stream mobile games. Now I do have a separate video that I'm working on that will show you how to do that, but it is basically using the webcam function and then screencasting through Prism Live Mobile over to your Prism Live desktop app, which is actually really easy to do. And it does give you a mobile camera overlay on top of the game while you're playing it that you can then use on the desktop app or if you wanted to, you could just take your webcam that you're normally using and lay it over the top of that if you wanted to. It is an option, but I will show you in a separate video on how to do that. Another thing in the mobile app that goes along with the webcam function is pro camera features. And right now there are two that are currently in operation and that is exposure and focus. So you can choose between manual and auto focus, and then you can adjust exposure for any correction that you need to make on your camera. Three more features are in the works and they will be available soon. And that is auto white balance. It looks like shutter speed and ISO. All right, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love for you to go try out Prism Live Studio. I do have some basic overviews of Prism Live Studio that are available on the channel. So if you're interested in those, please hit the like, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. You'll know when I have a video that goes live. I am doing a bunch of tutorials that are going to be basic streaming tutorials, but it's going to use Prism Live Studio. So scene building, that sort of thing, stream settings, record settings. I will show you how to do that using Prism Live Studio. And those will also translate over into other versions of OBS also. But I really like what the people over at Navar are doing with Prism Live Studio. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I will provide links in the description below. One is a link to medium.com. That is where the folks over at Navar update all the information concerning Prism Live Studio, including uh, change list, uh, just features that are available as part of Prism Live Studio. So you want to make sure you go and check that out. And I will also provide a link where you can download this software for yourself. All right, guys, thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll see you later.